Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Siletti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 3.7 from the chapter number 3. So the problem is Simplify the following Boolean expressions using four variable maps. It is similar to the previous problem. You can also watch that video. Now let us solve it. The first problem is f equal to the function given I have written with f equal to. So this is the Boolean expression given. Okay. So we have to use this four variable map and minimize or simplify these expressions. So the first term is w bar z. w bar is these two row. Okay, this two row and Z is the second and the third column. Okay, so we have to put here one. We also have W bar Z. W bar is first two row. Okay, and this two columns. So we have to put here one and one also. Then we have XZ. XZ is we have X equal to one here for this second row and the third row. Then we'll have Z is one for this second and the third column. Okay. So we have to put 1 1 here because already 1 1 we have. Then we have x bar y. x bar is first row and the fourth row. Okay, then we have y. y is third column and the fourth column. Okay, so we have to put 1 here. Okay, the last term is w x bar z. w x bar is this fourth row. Okay, because it is 1 and 0, w x bar is this row, fourth row, and z z is this second and the third column so we have to put one here we can combine like this this will be one term and this will be another term so after simplification we can write it as from this two row we'll have z z plus for this combination we'll have for the first row and the fourth row we have x bar and for the third and the fourth column we have y so this is the simplified boolean expression now let us solve the second problem in the second problem we have first term is c bar d okay so we have to put one here this is the column whole column okay then we have a bar b bar c a bar b bar is this row and c is this c is one for this one okay these two values Okay, so we have to put one here. Then the third term is a b c bar. a b is this third row. Okay, and c bar. c bar you have to the first column and the second column. So we have to put another one here. One is already here. The fourth term is a b bar c. a b bar is this fourth row. And c value is one for this last two column. Now we have to combine this. So first combination will be this one. And the second combination will be this one and the third will be this one so after simplification we will get here f equal to from this line we will get c bar d c bar d plus from this term we will have a b c bar a b c bar plus for this term we will have b bar and from these two column we will have C. So this is the simplified boolean expression for the second problem. Now let us go to our third problem. In the third problem we have a b bar c. a b bar is this, this fourth row then c. c value is 1 for this fourth third and the fourth column. Okay so we'll have 1 and 1 here. Then we have b bar c bar d bar. Okay c bar d bar. c bar d bar is this column. Okay then we have b bar b bar is first row and the fourth row okay first row and the fourth row then we have b c d b value b c d okay c d c d means this column okay this third column then we have b and b value is one for this two row okay so we'll have b c d here these two then we have a c d bar c d bar c d bar means this fourth column then we'll have a a value is one for this two row already one is here so we have to write another one here then a bar b bar c a bar b bar is this row and c value is one for this two okay so we'll have one one here then we have a bar b c bar d 
a bar b is this row and c bar d is this column so common term is here so this will be one term this will be the second term then we have this third term and we can combine like this also or like this also okay let us combine like this okay so after simplification we will get for this term all the corner values okay what we will get for this two row we have b bar b bar and this two column we have d bar plus suppose this term this term we will have c d plus suppose this term for this term we have a bar b and d plus for this term we will have a c a c so this is the solution of the third part of the problem now let us solve the fourth part of the problem in the fourth part we have x y z okay y z is this column and x value is this second and the third row okay so one one here then we have w y w y w is this two row and y is this two row okay so we we'll put one here okay then we have w x y bar okay w x means this column and y bar y bar is first two row okay so put one here then we have x bar y x bar means first row and fourth row okay then we have y y value is so from this four variable map we can find out the expression simplified expression to be so for this will be the first term okay so for this first term we'll have w x plus for this term we'll have y z plus this two term is complete now this third term we will have it is x bar and y so this is the simplified expression for the fourth problem so thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you